Hello, my gorgeous makeup loving friends. Um, you know it's that time of the week where we're going to talk about all of the delicious newness. Uh, there are a ridiculous amount of things to talk about, but before we get into talking about that, I guess I want to talk a little bit about um, the current situation. I am on, not on lockdown, but um, we're not meant to be moving around in Ireland and we're not going to work and that's the whole thing down to the coronavirus. Um, so I guess if, for those of you who are going out and about, uh, be very mindful and um, respectful towards each other's um, because I'm seeing a lot of people like bulk buying things in shops and that's really not necessary. Uh, please, please engage in good hygiene. Um, I am hoping, I've seen like some shots online where people have closed down like makeup counters where you shouldn't be swatching. Don't, don't go near that. Um, I would also say uh, be very careful about if you're having your makeup done at the moment because, you know, makeup artists will be touching your faces and you know, tools and whether or not they are disinfected, that's a whole other thing. Um, please be very kind and respectful to those who are working in the retail industry at the moment. This is an incredibly difficult time. Um, I know a lot of you who will be watching this are thinking the same as me, but I just feel the need to say it. So just be very nice to each other. Please take care of yourselves, wash your hands, do all the things that the government, the World Health Organization, etc., are um, recommending and fingers crossed, we'll be okay. Now for a bit of frivolity. Thank you, Mary Queen of Purple. I am part cat. And part unicorn. <laughs> I'm gonna play with the makeup that you sent me soon, just FYI. I haven't forgotten. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of thinking I'll do the rest of the video like this because I think we need a little bit of something and I like that I'm a cat unicorn. Works for me. So the first thing that we are going to talk about is a brand called Lois Cosmetics, which I've never heard of before, but they have come out with uh, two new palettes. Uh, they have the Gone Rogue palette, which is very, very, very colorful. And then they have the Rose Metal palette, which seems to be sort of like, I don't want to say like a dupe for the uh, Huda New Nudes, but it does seem to be like a nice alternative to it. If you know me, you know that I'm looking at the Gone Rogue one and I'm kind of going, mm, nom, 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 nom. that looks delicious. They are available now. They are vegan, they are cruelty free, and they are an indie brand if you want to look at them. By the way, I keep all of the information uh, in terms of all of the brands down below. There are links. If you like any of these things, go find them. They're there. I also want to say thank you to Jenny, who has tagged me in quite a few things, and to Paula, who has tagged me in a few things, and to Love Lashes and Makeup, which is an Instagram account where I get a lot of information in. They have also started tagging me in things. Hugely appreciated. Next thing that we have is Tarte Cosmetics. They have come out with their new Powered by Maracuja collection. They apparently say it's inspired by their Maracuja oil. They have their Maracuja Tinted Hydrator for $29. It is an ultra lightweight and hydrating tint moisturizer. Skincare infused formula which delivers sheer buildable coverage to help even out skin tone and minimize the appearance of imperfections. For a smoother, hydrated and healthy look, naturally radiant finish, it has, of course, Maracuja oil, hyaluronic acid, vegan collagen, turmeric and aloe and it comes in 20 shades which isn't exactly a great shade range but I guess there we go. Maracuja Miracle Mist Setting Spray for $23. It is a refreshing continuous 360 uh, non-aerosol mister. Can we talk about that for a second? Because it looks exactly like the Morphe one. I mean exactly like the Morphe one. So they've obviously had it made in the same factory or whatever as the Morphe one and the Morphe never thought to, I guess, patent the design of the, the brand and the sprayer. So <laughs> tires have swept in, fair enough. Uh, so they have their non-aerosol mister. It delivers even and controlled weightless application that apparently sets makeup for 12 hours. They have the Maracuja Glossy Oil for um, a lip oil for $15. It is a high shine finish with a hint of sheer pink color infused with Maracuja oil plus macadamia, macadamia seed oil, uh, safflower seed oil, olive fruit oil, vitamin E and a sigh to condition lips. Uh, Vichy are also releasing these um, a supercharged, apparently lift active specialist peptide C ampoules. So they're for the skin. If you're interested in that, there you go. Thank you, Paula Ann, for um, tagging me in that. She said, a vitamin C for the outline and wrinkles. Yeah. 
<laughs> I need vitamin C, D, E all the way through to Z to just deal with whatever is going on in my face. Um, she also tagged me in this. It is the Estee Lauder uh, Foundation. It is the Futurist Hydra Rescue. It is an illuminating full coverage foundation that hydrates your skin while you're wearing it. It is available now at Boots if you're interested. They're of course not a cruelty free brand so keep that in mind. Superdrug are releasing their new Disney Mulan range. Uh, it includes uh, eyeshadow palettes and body hair, hair pins, um, there's uh, like even like hair brushes, um, face brushes, they look really cute. Um, I think the colour story here makes an awful lot of sense and makes a lot more sense than the alternative one that is being put forward by Colourpop. But there you go, they say it's a buy one and get the second half price on selected Disney Milan. So if you're interested, have a little look at that. Um, now we're into the portion where we talk a lot about Revolution makeup and you know, by that I mean like Revolution skincare, I Heart Revolution, makeup obsession, all of that. Uh, they have the Revolution skincare, it's not UV, it's me. Uh, SPF is the most important step of your skincare routine. That's why we've created SPF 15 and SPF 30 in normal to dry skin and normal to oily skin variations. Tailored to your skin type to let your skin steal the spotlight, not sun damage. So it is, retailing for £10 or €11.99. Um, it is formulated with glycerin, urea and allantoin. There you go. Uh, normal to dry also contains cocoa and shea butters and sodium hyaluronate and normal to oily also contains niacinamide. So that is available now. Um, in addition to that, Makeup Obsession have released quite a few things. It's They have a lot of um, stuff for brows. So they have uh, your one-stop shop for fleeky brows. That's what they're saying there. Our Brow Goals Brow Kit contains a tinted wax, a brow powder and brow bone highlighter plus a mini set of tweezers, a spoolie and an angled brush. It's available in light medium, um, uh, medium brown and medium to dark brown for £7.99 7 or $10 each. They also have the Time to Tame Unruly Brows with Fluffy Brow Fiber Brow Gel. It has added fibres to create a fuller fluffy effect is available in clear ash brown um, or warm brown and dark brown for £6.6.99 6 and $9 each. They also have the Just Wing It with the Mega Flick Liquid Liner. The Precise Firm Nib is apparently perfect for creating sharp lines and the Mega Black Waterproof Formula means your liner won't budge. It's £5.5.99 5 or $7. They also have the On Flick Double Ended Eyeliner Pen. It's your new go-to apparently for creating simple cat eye or bold graphic liner looks. Use the thin nib to create fine lines that hug the lash. Flip over to the thick nib for a fatter, more dramatic look for £7, €7.99 or $10. And they also have the get in line with their So Cole eyeliners. Mega pigmented and creamy for smooth application. They say that you can use them to add pops of colour to the lash line or smoke out the waterline. It is available in eight shades for £3, €3.99 or $6 each. In addition to that, I Heart Revolution have uh, released their new Easter ring and they're so cute, they're little bunny palettes. I think the one that appeals to me the most is the greeny one. So each palette apparently features eight rich shadows in both matte and shimmer finishes, making each palette as lovable on the inside as it is on the outside, or so they claim. Uh, it is available in Stardust, which is the gold palette, which has that pop of green in it. They have this pinky palette, which is the one on the top right hand corner, uh, which is called Blossom. Uh, they have uh, the style Fluffy, which is the white palette down at the bottom right hand corner. And then the top left is the shade uh, Licorice. So they are available for £6, seven euro ninety nine, or $9 each. You can apparently get four for the price of three exclusive, exclusively with Revolution Beauty, just FYI. Patrick Ta is dropping their uh, new major brow shaping wax in clear and tinted for $22 and you can get the brush for $18. The brush looks interesting um, but I mean a brush is a like a spoolie brush is a spoolie brush. I have loads of them all over the place. So I don't think I'll be getting that, but there you go. Um, this is a brand I hadn't heard of before. This is Perplex Cosmetics. They have the, um, well, they have two different uh, eyeshadow palettes. They have the Ultra Hype and the Cyber Chic. So the Ultra Hype is kind of the more, it has like a green and a blue and an orange and reds and purples. That looks really nice. I really like the one at the bottom. I like that one as well, but I like the one at the bottom, which is the uh, Cyber Chic, which is the pink lilac one. And I'm just looking at that kind of going, well, is that what the bloodlust should have been? Maybe. 
oh, a little bit shady, but I think that's really cool. They are $15 each if you are interested. Again, links down below if you want to have a little gawk. Uh, Too Faced have their Peach Perfect Instant Coverage Concealer, uh, their Peaches and Cream Collection. Uh, so it's $30, uh, 30 Canadian dollars each, and you can also get uh, their um, Mr. Cover Up Perfect Concealer Brush for 29 Canadian dollars as well, if you're interested, that is meant to be coming soon. In fairness, like the brush does look really cute. Uh, they also have their uh, Hangover Pillow Balm, Pillow Cream, and Wash the Day Away Cleanser, which is available now. So they, the Pillow Balm has been featured a few times, just FYI. Thank you, Jenny, for tagging me in that. Uh, MAC are fast becoming the new Colourpop. They are just releasing thing after thing after thing. But they have released the new MAC Cosmetics Fix Plus Magic uh, Radiance, uh, which has launched at MAC Cosmetics in Australia for 44 Australian dollars for uh, 100 milliliters. Um, they said that you can do it up with bottled magic. You add all day hydration to your glow and nourish skin with Fix Plus Magic Radiance, a load of vitamin C, hyaluronic acid and essential oils. This moisturizing mist imparts ultra hydration and a boost of radiance, making it an artist must have for soft, supple, healthy looking and glowing skin. So there you go. They say that the key claims and benefits are that it provides immediate and long-term hydration, helps to plump and rehydrate skin, weightless, adds radiance, it's for all skin types, it's dermato dermatologically tested, ophthalmo ophthalmo ophthalmologist tested. I'm finding the isolation difficult. <laughs> ophthalmologist tested and it's non-acnogenic. Um, I know that their Fix Plus sprays are meant to be like really, I suppose, cult almost. I've never tried them. Don't come for me. I just, I haven't, I, I, Mac doesn't really interest me. Uh, they also have collaborated with Barbie for whatever reason and they have come out with this uh, lipstick which I thought would have been far more pink. It's a very kind of nudey pink in my opinion but there you go they're coming out with that they are also doing a further collaboration with selena q um this is more stuff from their collection and it includes a rose embellished extra dimension skin finish and they're also coming out with uh, a red lipstick so just a FYI, they will be available in April. Uh, Revlon have a chunk of things. They have the Skin Lights Prismatic Highlighter for $11.99 um, in uh, the shades Daybreak, Glimmer, Twilight Gleam and Gilded Dawn or Glided Dawn. But I think it must be Gilded Dawn because that makes a lot more sense. They also have the Skin Lights Prismatic Bronzer for $11.99 in three different shades in Sunlit Glow, Sun Kissed Beam and Gilded Glimmer or Glided Glimmer. But again, I don't think that's... Correct. I think that's a typo on their behalf. I get those things off trend mood. Soz. Um, They also have a new uh, gloss. So they've called it the gloss, which, do I have it here? I do, it should, yes. Jeffree Star calls his the gloss. So I do find it interesting that Revlon have called theirs the gloss. So they have some new additions to their super lustrous collection. Uh, and apparently you can get a three for two at the moment now in boots, if you're interested in that. Uh, they also have their Colorstay Brow Lights. It's a one part matte brow color and one part sheen. Uh, the final look will apparently give you natural brows with a subtle glisten. Uh, they say in terms of the description, get the natural looking brow shape you want in seconds without the hassle of hard to use eyebrow fillers. With this foolproof waterproof eyebrow pencil that you just can't get wrong and wears up to 16 hours. It's one part matte eyebrow colour, the other part glistening sheen with an ultra soft kabuki brush for blending so your brows have a touch of natural looking luster and it comes in six shades, medium brown, blonde, dark brown, soft black, soft brown and taupe. They're available for $9.99 US. Touch of Glam Beauty which is an indie brand that I quite enjoy are coming out with some new multi shifting glitters. Um, you can get them as singles or you can get them in a bundle. Um, if you use the code Women Day, W O M E N D A Y, you can get 30% off if you happen to be interested in those. FYI. Uh, Stila are also coming out with these, well, they call them their double dip suede shade and glitter and glow liquid eyeshadows. So it seems to be that they're kind of pairing two shadows together. One is a more matte, and then the other one is like a glitter. So I, I, it makes sense. Uh, it comes in 12 striking pairings, so you can mix and match to create different looks for $24. So they come in like the smaller versions, which I think makes sense. Uh, I probably won't get those. I've got a few Stila things recently. 
that's a new haul to come. Whoops! <laughs> These things just drop into my basket, don't know how it happens. Uh, Ritual de Fee, which is an indie brand, are expanding to their skincare. Um, so they have their new Thorn Oil Face Serum, uh, which can be used as a primer under makeup or just as a bare healthy glow, which I'm kind of like, oh, because there's a red tinge to it, so I'm a bit confused. The oil has a reddish hue but applies to the skin transparently, apparently. Transparently, apparently. <laughs> oh God, the isolation is getting to me. So it does have a scent, uh, floral, herbal and complex. It is vegan and cruelty free if you are interested. Kevin Aquan is also coming out with new unforgettable lipstick and lip definer. Uh, it comes in 18 lipstick shades in matte, cream and shine textures and six lip liners. So the matte is $30 and it comes uh, in the shades Uninterrupted, which is a soft neutral pink, Explicit, a rosy mauve, uh, Infinite, which is a warm pink, Devastating, which is a terracotta, Confidential, a brick red and Blood Roses, Noir, which is a deeper, darker blood red, which that sounds interesting to me. Mm -hmm. They also have uh, six different um, cream lipsticks for $30. There's Immaculate, a peachy nude, uh, Thel Medora, a rosy nude, Modern Love, which is a subtle pink mauve, uh, Blood Roses, a deep blood red, Pinkish Plum, which is a wild orchid, and Legendary, which is a muted pink raspberry. They also have shine lipsticks for $30 each in the shade Suspicious, which is a peachy coral, Belle of the Ball, a petal pink, Rosarin, which is a rose plum fatal a true blue red mm. poison berry which is a vibrant plum and enigma which is a vibrant hot pink and then when it comes to the lip definers or the lip liners I suppose they are $22 each so they come in the shades undressed which is a subtle nude divine a neutral nude minimal a pinky nude carnal a caramel nude uh, new naked a pecan nude and pure which is a chocolate nude I'm a bit confused as to why they don't have red liners in there because in each of the three of those lip collections there were reds so it seems like they've kind of missed a little trick there I don't know unless they're planning on expanding but there you go Jouet have uh, come out with uh, some new blush bouquets they are $30 each uh, there is the passion collection which is cherish me and treasure me so it has a warm matte burnt amber and a warm shimmering bronze tangerine and then the shade darling comes with embrace me which is a warm satin toast and love me which is a warm satin peachy pink I don't think either of those shades would suit me because I'm very very pale but there you you go. Uh, Dyson are coming out with a new Corral hair straightener. So it's apparently a straightener with flexing plates that shape around your hair, gathering it neatly together on each pass. It's going to be $499. This is like when the hair dryer came out and everyone was like, oh my god, and I'm like, I am not paying that much for hair dryer. I'm bougie, but I'm not that bougie. Soz next. Uh, KKW Beauty have come out with their Collection Classic 2. It includes the Cle Classic 2 eyeshadow palette for $45. It's very neutral. Are we that surprised? Mm, there you go. Reminds me a little bit of the Urban Decay Naked 3 collection. Just a little bit with like some more toasty colours in there. And they also have 11 nude glosses for $20 or you can get the whole bundle for $200. You can get the full collection, so with the glosses and with the eyeshadow palette for $240. Or you can get the Classic Palette Duo, so I, I suppose with Classic 1 and Classic 2 for $85. Or you can get Lip Duos for $32. And they're available from March 20th if you're interested. Charlotte Tilbury have come out with a chunk of things. So there are four new luxury palettes which are $53 each. There is the Super Blue, the Green Lights, the Copper Charge and the Mesmerizing Maroon. Um, I think the Green Lights is the one that I'm the most interested in but I couldn't justify spending $53 for that. Sorry, like it's insane. They also have matching eye color magic liner duos for $30. Uh, one side is matte to add shape and depth and the other side is metallic for the inner corners and the lower and upper lash line to make the eyes look bigger and brighter. I think that's quite smart. And you can also add the Feline Flick liquid eyeliner uh, for $30 in black or brown. So they are available now if you are interested. Morphe have uh, collaborated with Sawiti. I don't know who they are, uh, but they have come out with a festival inspired collection. They have the 24A Artist Past uh, Artistry Palette for $29. Um, 
yeah, I'm not really that into Morphe shadows. I find they're very hit or miss, so no thank you. They also have the Icy Lips for $18, the VIP Sweep six-piece brush and face set and belt bag for $29. It's apparently a $57 value. And a mini continuous setting mist in Sawit Peach for $10. Um, I mean, if it has the awful fragrance that everyone said the, was it the Jeffree Star, Morphe, one had, I don't think a lot of people would like that, but there you go. It's launching March 20th, if you're interested. Uh, Vizzy Art are coming out with a new limited edition Petite Pro Choo Choo palette, uh, which is available now on Beautylish, if you're interested. It's not really for me. There you go, it's going to be wildly expensive, I'm sure. Um, Fenty Beauty, of course, we have a little bit more information in terms of their blushers and their bronzers, uh, which I kind of sneak peeked the last time. Their Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer is $32 each. It comes in the shades Amber, uh, which is uh, suitable for contouring. It's a cool undertone for fair skin tones. Butter Biscuit, which is fair to light skin tones. Macchiato, light to medium skin tones. Honey Glaze, which is medium to tan skin tones. Teddy, which is tan skin tones. Chocolate for deep skin tones. And Toffee Teas, which is a very deep skin tones and is a deep contour. Um, again, you know, Fenty will always end up being like super inclusive. So that's really great to see. And then they have uh, their Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blush for $20 each. And they come in uh, Fuego Flush, which is a soft tangerine with shimmer. That I'm interested in. I like the sound of that. I think that's really... Like, I like more orangey blushes these days. Uh, Petal Popham, which is a soft baby pink. Bikini Martini, which is a soft bubblegum pink. Crush on Cupid, a soft cool pink. Strawberry Drip, a soft coral pink. Daiquiri Dip, a soft coral red. Drama Class, which is soft violet. Summertime Wine, which is a soft berry with shimmer. Cool Berry, which is a soft mauve with shimmer. And Rosé Latte, which is a soft bronze nude. And they're going to be available from April 17th, if you're interested. Colourpop have come out with a few things. Uh, they have their Makin Mauves collection. It, of course, includes their Makin Mauves eyeshadow palette. Not wildly interesting to me. But they also have their Mer Merci Bouquet uh, Super Shock Shadow Duo in Day Trippin' and Bloomer. Again, not wildly interested in that. Uh, two pressed powder blushes in Coast to Coast and Catch My Vibe. And the Lux glasses in Figgy With It and Check In. And they are available now if you are interested. In addition to that, they are also uh, collaborating and having a Mulan collection. So they, of course, have uh, their Mulan um, eyeshadow palette. I don't think this is as interesting as the Super Drug one. I, this, I, when I look at this, I don't see Mulan. I can't see the colours from Mulan, particularly not from the old animated film, unless they're really going with the new, new film, but not, not interesting for me. It is $22. Uh, they also have the Colourpop and Mulan lip bundle for $25, the Colourpop and Mulan Luxe Cream lipstick for $9, the Colourpop Mulan Luxe Gloss for $9, the Colourpop Mulan Luxe Velvet Liquid Lipstick for $9. Uh, in addition to that, they also have the uh, Colourpop and Mulan 4th Ray Beauty Face Milk and Lip Mask Bundle for $16, the Colourpop and Mulan Pressed Powder Blush in Good Luck Charm for $10, and in uh, Match maker for $10 but you can get the full collection all together for $78 if you're interested. Fourth Ray Beauty have also come out with a new mist. It is their Do It uh, Hydrating Hyaluronic Mist. It is formulated with hyaluronic acid to help bind moisture to the skin and Ligon Berry for blue light protection. And it is launched now if you are interested. Uh, Ofra have collaborated with Samantha March who this series of uh, videos are inspired by because she has done her Will I Buy It series. So she's come out with her own uh, coll collaboration. She did a collaboration with them during the summer. I bought chunks from that. It was brilliant, really recommend it. Um, but she's done a brand new one. So, uh, and I think this is smart, by the way, for, for a lot of you. Pick your ears up if you like the Ofra stuff. Uh, there is a split pan highlighter for $35. So half of it is Star Island and half of it is Pillow Talk. So you get two highlighters in the one. And by the way, I've tried both of those for my skin tone and they're beautiful. Lovely. I highly recommend. Uh, they have the Chiclet Blush Duo, which if you don't know Samantha March, she is a Chiclet writer. She loves Chiclet. It's a whole thing. So she has the Chiclet Blush Duo for $35 in Matte Pink Nude and Shimmer Worn Deep Rose. I don't think they'd suit my skin tone, so I'm passing on that. And I already have a split pan of 
the uh, Star Island and Pillow Talk. She did that before during the summer. They also have the River Bronzer Duo uh, for $35 in matte light neutral mocha and shimmer warm copper. Again, um, I don't think that would necessarily suit me, so I'm skipping on that. You can get a Lip Duo for $27 in the shade Story, which is a mocha nude mauve uh, matte liquid lipstick and Millie, which is a pearl iridescent shimmer gloss. And they are available uh, March 16th if you are interested in those. I think that's really cool. Uh, Clinique are launching uh, their Moisture Surge Pop Triple Lip Balm in six shades. Uh, it is a three-in-one apparently. From the outer layer inwards, you'll find a lip gloss, a lip balm, and a lip color. Uh, it includes um, aloe, shea butter, and vitamin E. It comes in, like I said, six different shades, and it is launching in Japan in April with other regions to be confirmed. In addition to that, they also have their Super Defense SPF 40, which defends against pollution, blue light, and UV the for 12 hours of radiance you can get that now at boots if you are interested uh, Guerlain are launching their stunning gem collection that includes new shades of rouge g lipsticks and cases so i mean that looks like i mean it's very bougie it's very extra let's face it but they are an expensive brand. Um, they have eight new cases alongside 14 new shades of lipstick in various finishes and one new balm to their Rouge G range. It is launching in Japan on the 1st of April and we're going to find out about other regions after that. Um, Give Me Glow Cosmetics are apparently very good friends with Clarity Cosmetics, which I think is really cool. So they are pairing up together to do a small limited edition collaboration palette. Um, th so those five shades are going to be put together in this one palette for $25. Um, and that is available now if you are interested. Um, it's going to be on Clarity Cosmetics website, just FYI in case you're interested. Uh, Technic Cosmetics um, have come out with uh, their summer line and it includes uh, an eyeshadow palette but there are also like blushes, um, highlighters etc. So that is available now. Again, link down below if you are interested. Um, Cult Beauty have collaborated with Wayne Goss. Uh, they are launching this collection on the 18th of March so you do have to sign up to see about trying it. So it includes like some drunk elephant stuff, uh, some Laura Mercier, some brushes, uh, pixie. It, I mean, it looks interesting. It does look interesting. No, Teresa, no. Um, sauce. <laughs> um, Melt Cosmetics had their rust stack uh, a while ago, uh, so it was like five different stacks. It seems like they're getting rid of the stacks, which I think is a bit sad, but there you go, and they are making it into a palette. So it is their Melt Rust Eyeshadow Palette, and it includes the shades from their original rust stack along with some additional uh, shades. So all in all, it has seven matte and three shimmer shades, and of course, it has a mirror, uh, and that is coming soon to Melt Cosmetics. Um, Lunatic Cosmetics have revealed their new Descendant palette. It is available now for $42. It's a very cool toned neutral palette. Kind of interesting. Not really my kind of makeup aesthetic, but I think quite a few people would find that interesting. And I, I'm going to say it. I love the packaging. It makes my dark, twisty heart very happy. And I'm very aware I'm saying that with cat slash unicorn head on, but there you go. Dark, twisty heart. <laughs> I want a nice shadow palette that's a coffin, please. Thank you. Um, so uh, My Pretty Zombie Cosmetics have a new shadow. It is called uh, Ginny, which I'm assuming is like Ginny from uh, Harry Potter. I think maybe. Um, so they have that new shadow. It was free. It was a free gift for purchases for Friday the 13th. So anyone who placed any orders then would have gotten that. Sorry, there wasn't any further notice, but it is what it is. Um, I kind of sneak peeked this last week, I believe. Uh, this is Sparrow Cosmetics One Ring to Rule Them All palette. Uh, it is released now. And holy bananas. I really want it. I think it looks beautiful. It's a mix of mattes, shimmers, and pressed glitters. And um, yeah, I, <laughs> I really like that. I think that's gorgeous. I, I think it's really beautiful. I love the color story of that. Um, yeah. No more needs to be said. Uh, Lunar Skies Cosmetics have four new palettes. They are now live and uh, for sale. You can get all four of them together for $55 or you can get um, a palette for $15. So if you get all four of them, you save $5. 
So they come in Emerald Moon, which is the green one to the top left. They have uh, Amethyst, which is the bottom left. They have uh, Flower Moon, which is the top right hand corner and Cobalt Moon, which is the bottom right corner. Um, I really like the Amethyst one. I like all of these, but I don't think I can justify getting them. But I do like them. If they like if they turned up on my life, I wouldn't be unhappy. But I can't I can't justify buying these things at the moment. I have enough. Anyone who's watched my hauls will know I have enough. I must be strong during this isolation period. Um, for Sally have also revealed that they are coming out with a new rose gold uh, elixir um, 24 carat moisturizing gel cream. They say this new weightless gel cream will instantly add hydration to the skin while keeping it supple and leaving a naturally shine free glow. It's formulated with rose hip seed oil, 24 karat gold and hyaluronic acid for $39 and it's going to be available from March 23rd. Uh, Ciate have also uh, um, kind of given us information on their new trend edit palette um, so that I mean that just looks like the Huda new nude or not new nude little nude palettes which I still have to try I bought them they're, they're here they're waiting to be tried I'm very bad at this I'm sorry I am trying. Smashbox also have their new Vitamin Glow Primer. It awakens and refreshes your skin. Every time you prime, it's infused with vitamins B, C and E to enhance your natural glow whenever, wherever it is vegan and cruelty free. So if you want to check that out. This is a brand I've never heard of. It's M Co Beauty. So they are apparently going to be in Glossy Box, um, but they have this long lasting lipstick, apparently. So this is what is going to come in the glossy box, but it's also new to their site as well. So if you want to check that out, there you go. Elemis have also come out with a new three-in-one eye mask. It apparently targets wrinkles and dark circles, moisturizes and primes, and it gives you 24-hour hydration. I kind of almost feel like they're targeting me there because I feel like I, I constantly have quite dark under eyes at the moment. Who knows? Maybe it's stress. Maybe it's age. Maybe it's Maybelline. I don't know. I don't know, I'm in a weird place. I saw this and I thought it was really, really interesting. I've never heard of this brand. It's called uh, Lina, uh, Linha Bruna Tavares. Don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I tried, links down below. This palette looks beautiful. It may be that red kind of glittery shimmer that is making me feel that way because I do really want it. I want to smear it all over my face in a sort of a brave heart scene but it looks very nice. Um, and I don't think it was wildly expensive when I looked it up either. Again, links down below if you want to have a little look. Uh, NARS have given us uh, a look at their summer collection. It of course includes bronzers, some like eye shades, some lip balms, some lip glosses. So there you go. That's part of what they're coming out with. Menagerie Cosmetics have been sneak peeking this throughout the week, but they have finally revealed their Pastel Pup palette. Uh, it is launching on the 21st of March for $36. I'm not wildly interested in the shades, but I can't cope over how frigging cute that seal pup is. I'd almost buy it just so I could look, look at how adorable it is. And I'm like, no, don't buy things just because of packaging, Teresa bold. I have loads of pastel stuff so I don't actually need it but I think that's interesting and I think it's interesting that they put a white and a black in there to like deepen things out. I think that's quite clever. They also have some new trefoil um, shadows which are launching on the same date for the 21st of March for $6 each and they come in four different shades. There's Snowball which is like a blue, Bunny which is a purple, uh, Cheeky which is this beautiful gold and uh, Turtle Club which is green. I really like those. But no, I can't justify getting them. I'm still waiting on my shadows to come from Cleona Cosmetics. They will come. One day, my prince will come and he will have shadows with him and lots of makeup. Because that's, that's how you win me over. Um, I saw this and I thought of a friend of mine. Um, also, Victoria. You will like this. Look at this, look at this, look at this. You also like Harry Potter. Uh, Laura Works has um, an upcoming spring collection that includes the av Avocado Cadavera products. I'm living for the puns. I'm living for Harry Potter. I think this is very cool. Um, so yeah, it's an avocado bath bomb <laughs> with a Voldemort sculpted soap on top. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think that's brilliant. Uh, the scent is apparently lemongrass, bergamot and rosewood and that does sound pretty darn cool. So if you're interested, there you go. Uh, Baby Bat Beauty have launched their new glasses, uh, not glasses, glasses. Clearly I need new glasses. Um, so they come in crystal, uh, fractal skies, um, aug augury, I can't even pronounce these words, Freya, constellation, afterlife and trepidation. There, I eventually got there. They also, by the way, are having a spring sale. If you use the code spring fling, uh, you can get 30% off and every order gets a free midnight mascara. So there you go. Um, Trend Mood are obviously constantly doing this box. Well, not constantly doing this box. It's, it's, a, it's a monthly thing. But they have said that they are adding First Aid Beauty. This is a new product from them. It is their... Uh, uh, weightless liquid mineral sunscreen with zinc oxide SPF of 30. They say the mineral SPF protects skin from UVA, UVB rays and absorbs quickly with an ultra light formula. Invisible non-greasy finish. It's packed with antioxidants. It also defends against environmental aggressors and pollution that contribute to early skin aging. It has a sheer tint that blends seamlessly into all skin tones. It's oil free and non-comedonogenic so it won't clog pores. Uh, you can wear it alone or under makeup for $35, uh, $34 rather. It is available now on their website but it will be coming to the trend mood box if you want to keep an eye out on that. Uh, Peachy Queen which is an indie brand they are the ones that did the friends palette they have come out with this far out palette it is already available um, from what I remember it's fairly affordable it's under $30 um, it reminds me an awful lot of um, Blush Tribes sort of palettes they're probably made in the exact same place but there you go, if you're interested. Um, Rebel Rouge Labs, which I kept calling Rebel Rogue Labs, but there you go. They have a pre-order for their new spring collection. Um, again, quite pastel-y shades. You can see where they're coming from in terms of, um, like, spring. <laughs> like it makes sense. Uh, the eyeshadow palette is called Karma Chameleon but they also have jelly shadows and hollow glosses. So there's a little bit of an 80s theme going on there. I like it. I'm, I'm not against it. I thought this was quite interesting, but I think it could have been executed a smidgen better. This is by Dandelions Cosmetics. It is their spring palette. I think it's very smart that they have mattes and then corresponding shimmers, but I think that because they have um, proportionally more shimmers to mattes, I think what they could have done was that instead of having one of the rows of shimmers, they could have had like, I don't know, like glitters or a satin or something just change it a bit more because it I like the idea though I think it's very very good it, it reminds me a little bit of the Tati palette in the term in the sense of having different textures but they've done it with colour so I like that well done dandelion well done I like that. Um, Lano Lips have also come out with a new minty flavour of their 101 ointment. Um, they have ultra pure grade lanolin in it so by the way if um, if you are allergic to lanolin, which I do know somebody who is, this is not for you. Stay away. Um, yeah, so it has spearmint and peppermint oil in it and apparently vitamin E. So it is available now for $14.95 uh, Australian if you are interested. Now we are on to our sneak peeks. Um, XX Revolution, which is a little baby company of revolution. That does all of the things they have given us a little sneak peek of what seems to be a new palette that they're coming out with it is coming out on the 27th of march so keep an eye out for that divina cosmetics have also given a sneak peek to their new candy cakes collection which is coming soon so very pastel-y not really for me but there you go give me glow cosmetics have revealed yet another shade of their summer collection of highlighters it's called the late night coasting that looks really pretty probably too dark for me but i think it's it's quite cool um this is a new section to this video and I'm calling it the enabler alert because um, there's a little bit of a joke in my group, uh, not my group, like I didn't make it obviously, I'm just a member in it, sexy sausages, it's the whole thing, um, but we have a joke that I'm the enabler of the group because <laughs> I have a problem and I seem to just be bringing everybody with me. So I thought it would be fun to have a section of the video that talks about sales, etc. that are going on 
as they're going on. So I got a, an email from Cult Beauty that said that they have 15% off glow, so 15% off their highlighters. Uh, it is, I think, automatically added at the till, so there you go. Um, Cult Beauty, again, they have um, like a six piece edit of need to know beauty essentials um so they have put that all together it is uh worth over 79 pounds as part of their starter kit so if you want to have a little look at that there you go um certify who i really like one of their palettes the the affinity 2 palette is in probably my top five palettes and I have a lot of palettes. Uh, their birthday was on the 14th of March and they are having 50% off everything for the next two days. You just have to use the code BDAYGIFT. There you go, you're welcome. Morphe have their Eye Obsessed brush collection, uh, which was £25 down to £15. It has a £90 value. Thank you, uh, Jenny. I think it was Jenny that tagged me in this, so much appreciated. Morphe also have 20% off all their Morphe collabs. So have a little look at that I guess um it would have been handy to know before I bought certain things but meh they also stock a Suva Beauty and they um said that if you use the code bright idea that you can um save um some money when you're buying the Suva Beauty liner and the brush for twenty dollars you can uh, it's actually twenty six dollars so you can get some money off that. Uh, Elf also have a 60% off sale on their website. So if you want to have a little look at that. Um, Gerard Cosmetics um, have a 30% off code for their website. It's LOVEGC, all capitals, uh, if you want to try that out. Um, BH Cosmetics also have a sale on at the moment where there is 25% off a face, eyes and lips and brush essentials. FYI. Um, Coloured Rain have their Power Palette, which is, by the way, limited edition, on sale for 50% off. If you want to give that a go. I ordered that a while ago. It has yet to come. I know it's been shipped, but it was coming with the Vivid Pigments Palette. There you go. I'm looking forward to playing with that. Um, Give Me Cosmetics have a sale on at the moment where Mother's Day gifts are up to 70% off and that will include, of course, cosmetics. So there you go. Um, Unicorn Cosmetics have 60% uh, off uh, some of their bundles, including uh, lashes. Those lashes are only uh, £3.30 if you are interested. Uh, Beauty Bay also have 20% off uh, eyeshadow palettes at the moment if you use the code PALETTE20, P-A-L-E-T-T-E-20. I can spell. Well done me. Um, Ciate London have 50% off their site. Uh, so that includes like their glitter flips, their lipsticks, their eyeshadow palettes everything 50% off everything uh, so Sue uh, cosmetics so um, that's Sue Jackson who is an Irish blogger she has her own cosmetics brand she has 25% off this St. Patrick's Day weekend and you use the code lucky 25 all in caps and you will get 25% off that is it that is the end of this particular episode I guess that's what we're calling it there we go. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, do you like the addition of the enabler alert? I'll probably keep it in anyways, cause I kind of do what I want. Um, I'm like a cat in that sense. Mm, there you go. My fringe is getting unmanageably long and I can't get to a hairdresser because we're not allowed to go near other people. So as the time progresses, you're just gonna see I'll become more like the character from um, uh, the Adams family, you know, that is just the hair. And the worst thing is I don't have nice enough hair to carry that off. It's all very emotionally difficult. Um, that is it. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe. Please do take care of yourselves at the moment. Uh, take care of your loved ones. Stay in contact um, digitally. Don't Probably don't meet up. I'm not advocating that at all. Distance, very important. Uh, do please share my video because sharing is caring unless it's an STD. In which case, we wrap it up and we wash our hands. Uh, but I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.